Hi, my name is Lilian Kwon. I'm a TME in INSBU. Today, I'm going, to talk, I'm going to talk about ACI fabric packet flow. So I assume you have basic knowledge or information about ACI, application-centric infrastructure, and the key concepts it uses, such as EPG, endpoint groups, because I'm going to use those concepts uh, a lot in my presentation. Right. So first, I'm going to have an overview of ACI fabric. So we're building a two-layer cloth uh, topology. We have spine layer and leaf layer. And we're building an IP fabric using ISIS as the internal routing protocol to establish IP connectivity throughout the fabric among all the nodes, including spine nodes and leaf nodes. And for, to transport tenant traffic, across the IP fabric, we use integrated VXM overlay. And it's a penalty free because all the forwarding is done in hardware. And we eliminate ARP flooding within the fabric. We translate the broadcast ARP traffic coming from the endpoint or end hosts and into unicast ARP in the fabric. So there's no ARP flooding. So to the outside, we can run routing protocols to learn outside prefixes, or we can do static routes. So the outside learned routes will be populated into the fabric or to, to other leaves, which need the information through MPBGP within the fabric. All right, so in the MPBGP topology, spine nodes will function as route reflectors. But the outside routing is not my focus in my presentation. So I'm going to spend more time to talk about packet forwarding within the fabric between the end holes which are connecting to the fabric. So the forwarding is down on the host-based forwarding. And we actually, on the, on the leaf layer, we decouple the user information or user name space information, like user identities, like IP addresses, or locations, or policy groups. We decouple them from the actual forwarding path, and we actually ab abstract them and encode them into the fabric VXLAN header. As I said, within the fabric, we use VXLAN as overlay technology to transport user data. So we abstract the user namespace information and get the location uh, for example, in the outer header of the VXLAN header, we actually encode the location information into the source leaf IP or source VTAB, and then destination VTAB or destination leaf. So this information will serve as location identities for packet forwarding from ingress leaf to egress leaf. And then we ab abstract the policy group information um, abstracted and encoded into a field in the VXN header uh, for like source EPG group, right? And then policy will be applied based on the class uh, policy class or the EPG group ID. And we also map on the leaf layer, we map the user uh, network context into the VNet, VXM VNet. So if the packets need to be switched, then the vignette can reflect the bridge domain. If the packets need to be routed, vignette can be VRF. If the packets need to be redirected for service chaining, then vignette can be uh, EPG for the service graph. So, and also the host information will be saved or stored in the spine nodes. Each spine node has a complete forward information for all the hosts which are connected into the fabric. So this is a complete forwarding, from, uh, in forwarding table. And on every leaf, we have cached forwarding information. Okay. So the f every leaf only need to know the host which they need to send traffic to or which they need to talk to. So this is a subset of the complete, uh, of complete the host table which is stored on spine. So when packets comes in on the ingress leaf in leaf one, 
if leaf one has the information about the destination host, like EP2 here, then it's gonna encapsulate the packets in VXLAN header with the source VTAB of itself, destination VTAB of leaf two here, and then four packets towards uh, leaf two. If leaf one doesn't have the information about destination, it's gonna use spine as proxy. So it's gonna encapsulate the packets into VXLAN header using its own App, uh, VTAB as a source VTAB, but it's going to use a spine proxy VTAB IP address as a destination VTAB. So the packets will be sent onto spine nodes. And then spine will have the complete information, so it's going to resolve the egress leaf location for the packets and then change the destination VTAB to leaf 2, which is the egress leaf, and then forward packets down to the destination and host. So as you can see, um, either, either way, either the ingress leaf resolve the egress leaf directly or it use spine as proxy. The packets will be anyway forwarded just two hops away to the destination. And the forwarding is always done in hardware. So this is a very uh, quick overview of packet flow where unicast packet flow in ACF fabric. For more information, you can go ahead and refer to get more documents from the URL below the video. And, if, and we're gonna have more video sessions to talk about more other topics on ACI and ACI Fabric. Thank you for watching.